Good morning, chapter 10, lesson 10 is on page 471. We're going to do just one problem, number 23, probably the most complicated problem uh, that we have for homework. And we're just doing this one problem as an add-on to everything else we've talked about. It is a very complex rational expression. The numerator is g divided by 2f plus g plus 2 divided by f plus 1. The denominator is g squared over f plus 1 plus 2g plus 3, all that divided by f. So we're going to be working with two LCMs, two least common multiples. So we know that the least common multiple for the numerator is going to be, I'm going to need lots of room, so I think I'm going to make the least common multiple for the top 2f times f plus 1. I'm not sure where we're going to put that, so let's put that over here. The LCM is 2f and f plus 1. And the LCM for the denominator is very similar, but it's f times f plus 1. Okay, so we're going to have to turn the numerator's denominator into 2f times f plus 1. And the denominator's least common multiple denominator into f times f plus 1. So let's see what we can work out. Should probably draw another red line. It's our denominator. And let's go with g times 2f times f plus 1 over f plus 1 plus g plus 2 over f plus 1 times f over f. I'm wondering if I can, oops. It looks like I can. You get the picture. Uh, and in the denominator, I ha oops. I'm going to multiply that g squared over f plus one times f over f and then that 2g plus 3 over f times f plus 1 over f plus 1. I'm going to just make this a little bit neater here. So the numerator's least common multiple was 2f times f plus 1. And see, already I made a mistake. So let's make this a 2 and a 2. And then in the denominator's least common multiple, we multiply the first term times f over f plus 1. And the second term over time over the second term f plus one over f plus one. So we've gotten the least common multiples factored into each of the denominators of the numerator and the denominator of the denominator. So what we can do now is um Write these out as 2 big terms. So in the numerator, we're going to have the denominator of that be, oops, maybe I should use a different line. Let's use blue. So we're going to have a numerator's denominator 
and a denominator's denominator. So in the denominator we have two, oops, two F times F plus one. And if we work on the numerator, we have g times f plus 1 plus 2f times g plus 2. All I did was I combined the numerator's numerator and combined the numerator's denominator. I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, for the bottom, the bottom looks like f times f plus 1, because that's this part down here. And when we combine this, we end up with g squared f plus 2g plus 3 times f plus 1. This part belongs to the denominator, and this part belongs to the numerator. Told you this problem was complicated. So this looks like. Let's start multiplying now. Oops. Mm. Let's draw a line. Let's make it red. There we go. So we're going to multiply now. Um, the numerators and the denominators. So this looks like G See it helps to go slow. GF it helps if I write clearly too. G times F plus g plus 2fg plus 4f divided by 2f times f plus 1. This other denominator is going to be f times f plus 1. And this bottom part looks like g squared f plus, and we're going to FOIL now, 2fg plus 2g plus 3f plus 3. Okay, now we can finally do something with that. And what we can do is we can write this as an inverse instead of a division. We're going to end up, this is sort of like 3 over 2 divided by, let's say, I don't know, 4 over 7. And we can write it as 3 over 2 divided by 4 over 7 or 3 over 2 times 7 over 4. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write it as a multiplication rather than as a division now. Let me get rid of this so I can have some more room. And we can make this look like GF plus G plus 2FG plus 4F oops before we start doing that let's do one more thing and let's combine the like terms up here so this looks like 3FG plus G plus 4F and the denominator is the same and we really can't combine anything down below here because those are all different so we now have um, 3FG plus G plus 4F divided by 2F times F plus 1 and I'm going to multiply, which means I'm going to flip the denominator, which makes this f times f plus 1 divided by the reciprocal g squared f plus 2fg plus 2g plus 3f plus 3. Wow. Finally, it looks like we can maybe do some cancellations. F plus 1 and F plus 1 can cancel out. One of these F's and one of these F's can cancel out. And so we're getting close to a final answer. And it looks like our numerator looks like 3FG plus G plus 4F divided by 2, that's this 2 in the front, times the quantity of g squared f plus 2fg plus 2g, I'm getting a cramp in my finger, plus 3f plus 3. And believe it or not, that is the answer to this problem. The trick was to use the LCMs for both the numerator and the denominator, and they both turned out to be different. We just grind, ground our way through, and we ended up with our solution as shown in the lower right. Thanks so much for hanging in on number 23, and we'll talk, you all we'll talk to you all tomorrow. See ya.